Hey everybody, this is Erica, the technology nerd who likes to film stuff and I managed to get my hands on a Samsung Galaxy S5 LTA version. This would be the Korean model of what we were liking to call the Galaxy S5 Prime. This is the very first device that we've seen on the market with the Snapdragon 805 SoC and also has a Quad HD display. So I'm very curious to check out this device over the next few days and see what the performance differences are. I've had a chance to play around a lot with Snapdragon 801 SoCs that have Quad HD displays, but I'm curious to see what the performance difference looks like now with the 805 SoC with the Quad HD display. Also, it looks like the Galaxy S5 LTA version has the same exact 2800 milliamp hour battery as the regular Galaxy S5 did. So I'm curious to see what type of battery life differences that we are looking at. So I want to unbox this, show you what it comes with. And if you're curious where I got this device from, check out the link in the description, 28mobile.com. 28mobile.com has a 28-day money-back guarantee. You also can buy a warranty through them because when you get devices that are unlocked, oftentimes they don't have any warranty. Count on them not having any type of a warranty. So 28mobile.com offers that for you. I got my G3 from 28mobile.com as well, and I overall like their customer service and the experience, so check them out. So what's nice about this LTA version of the Galaxy S5 is not only is it the device that we were pretty much all waiting for, but it has the two bands that you need best in Europe to be able to use it on LTE. It also has the LTE band to work in the United States on AT&T as well. So if you want to get the exclusive look at the 805 SoC, here it is. So taking a bit of a look around the frame here, I can see that instead of this being silver, like on my white Galaxy S5 from T-Mobile, it has a gold tint to it, and I think it works really very well. I like it a lot better than the silver version that I have. It gives it just a bit of something extra. So let's go ahead and set the device aside for a second so I can show you what's in the box. What I like about Korean models of devices also is that they include a really nice package of things that you just don't get in other countries. The first thing out of the box that I am seeing is this charger. This is so you can put your extra battery inside of it. They give you an extra 2,800 milliamp hour battery. So that's very nice. So just say, for example, if this device doesn't have as great of battery life as the Galaxy S5 with the same exact size battery, at least with this version of the device, you will be able to change out those batteries. So there really is sometimes a bit of an advantage going with the Korean models. We've also got some earbud replacements. We've got our earbuds right here. Next, we have a USB 2.0 cable. They did not include a USB 3.0 cable inside of the box. I'm really not sure why. And lastly, they include a charger here. You can see that it's all one unit. This is a two amp charger, and even though this looks like a European plug, I can simply just get an adapter to use it in the United States. It's not a big deal. And that is all that's in the box. So even without the USB 3.0 cable, this is a really nice package. Also, this model that I have here is 32 gigabytes of internal storage. My Galaxy S5 that I got from T-Mobile is the 16 gigabyte version, and it becomes quite easy to overfill that with applications because you really can't install applications to the SD card. So that's nice that I have 32 gigabytes of internal storage to install apps as well. Let's go ahead and pull that off. Don't really need it. And start up the device. So after starting up and setting up this device, I can see that this display is incredibly bright. What I'm going to be doing is some measurements to see what the difference between this display is in terms of calibration and the Galaxy S5, the normal Galaxy S5. What I can see already is that this display looks more vibrant. This display looks more saturated. If you thought that the colors popped on the Galaxy S5 regular version, they really pop on this display. I'm going to have to use this, watch Netflix, see how I really like that extra saturation. Of course, you still do have those modes where you can change it to cinema mode if you are not really liking that saturation. So I need some time to play with this, definitely. Already what I can see with this Quad HD display is that it's leaps and bounds better looking than what we have on the Galaxy S5 because it has that pen tile matrix. This one is still having that diamond pen tile matrix just like on the Galaxy S5, but at this density, it looks very, very nice. Finally, this is 
the first pen tile display I can look at and say, eh, I'm pretty happy with it. Yeah, definitely. So overall, this phone looks exactly like the regular Galaxy S5, except for it's got this gold trim around it. And it's also got a bit of a gold trim around the fingerprint sensor as well. So I really don't want to say much else right now because I haven't had a chance to test anything yet. So thank you everybody for watching. This has been Erica the Technology Nerd who likes to film stuff. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Again, if you're curious to get your hands on one of these to get the exclusive look at the 805 SoC, check out 28mobile.com. I will be using this as my main phone for the next several days or weeks or whatever until I can come to a conclusion about the differences between the Galaxy S5 and this version. So if you are curious about that process as it goes along, please check the link in my description for my Google Plus page. When I'm not making video reviews, I like to post updates on my Google Plus page about things that I am finding as I'm reviewing devices. So check out my link in the description. On my post is a great place to ask questions about the Galaxy S5 LTA version. And also, if you ask your questions in the comment section below, it makes it easy for me to see what people are curious about, so I can incorporate that into further videos as well. So stay tuned, I will see what the difference in battery life is, I'm going to see really what the difference in performance is. And I will also be measuring the display, because I swear it's a lot more saturated than just the normal Galaxy S5, so I find that to be very interesting. So stay tuned!